Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are doing EURUSD analysis. Were they the major, the three major uh, pairs that you you need to have in your watch list are uh, three major pairs that you need to have in your watch list. Number one is EURUSD. Then we have GBPUSD. Then we have AUDUSD. If you're not trading this and you're a beginner, I don't know what you're trading because Euro USD and Audi USD are not as volatile. GBP USD is a bit volatile, but you cannot compare GBP USD with GBP JPY. You cannot compare Euro USD with Euro JPY. JPY pairs are very volatile, even for a, a small account or someone who is beginning. So in this channel, you will find me analyzing the three major pairs a lot. And in other videos, I will also analyze GBPUSD, AUDUSD, and let you know what we are waiting for because the market is just waiting and, and reacting once the entry is, giving up, is given out. That's why I have started with zero USD. So in the next video, we'll do GBPUSD, and then later we'll do AUDUSD. For me, I prefer these pairs because once you know what your USD will do uh, or where it is going, buying or selling, you're able to master other pairs. Imagine if I know what Euro USD is, is up to. Euro USD will birth. I will already know what USD CHF will do because they are negative coloration. So if Euro USD is buying, USD CHF is selling. For me to prove that, you can see you, Euro USD, this has been buying. So you can see this market has been buying. Can you see that? So if I come here and look for USD CHF, most probably it will be selling. So if you know how to trade Euro USD, you are guaranteed to trade uh, USD CHF because they are negative coloration. So already if you master Euro USD, you have an extra, an extra pair to trade. So for Euro USD, the negative correlation is USD CHF. If you're able to trade GBPUSD, you can be able to trade uh, GBPCHF. If you're able to trade GBP, you can trade GBPCHF like that. And you can trade GBPCHF because they are positive coloration. I don't know a pair that goes negative coloration with GBPUSD, but I have had I'm not 100%. If I'm wrong, you can correct me in the comment section. I have had the negative coloration of GBPUSD is USD card. That's what I have had. And sometimes I compare the two and I find it is true. So we will start with GBPCHF. Let me put GBPCHF. So I will put GBPCHF. So you can see GBPUSD has been buying. So this is GBPUSD for us. So when GBPUSD is buying, you can see the market has been buying yeah? since some time. Yeah? GBPUSD is buying. So we want to see, is it positive coloration? Does it go the same way with GBPCHF? The same thing, GBPCHF has been buying. Even if they don't go exact, but if you are good with GBPUSD buying and then you get an entry on GBPCHF, you are good to go. But we want to see, I, I have told you, yes, GBPUSD buys, but where is GBPUSD? When GBPUSD is buying, the negative coloration of GBPUSD is USD card. So let's see if it is true. Can you see USD card, how it has been selling? So if I know how to trade GBPUSD, I already know how to trade. USD card. And I think I can do a very detailed video because majority of people don't really understand what is happening. So for the Audi USD, if I'm able to trade Audi USD correctly, so this one is USD CHF. Now here have two pairs, both GBP CHF and GBP USD. They are going the same way. For Audi USD is magic, guys. Hey, for Audi USD, if you master Audi USD, the ones that Tolerate the ones that goes the same. There are many. All Audi pairs, Audi card, Audi CHF, 
au d and the d um so those are the audi pairs then and the d pairs and the dsd they go the same with audi and the dchf and and the d card you see and the d usd and the dchf and the d card and so you have imagine when you are able to trade out dsd you are able to trade out dsd you have you have cracked the code of trading the five pairs. So if you're able to trade Audi card or Audi, uh, if you're able to trade Audi USD and you don't, you just need to be confident what Audi USD is doing. So we will start with Audi USD. If I'm confident, you can see Audi USD has been buying. So if I'm confident Audi USD is a buy, trust me, the next one is Audi card is supposed to be buying. Can you see Audi card is supposed to be buying? Audi CHF is supposed to be buying. And they are buying, guys. Uh, Audi CHF is buying. The one that I have not put in my chart is Audi NZD. I don't trade it, but you can check it. I don't trade Audi NZD. But you can check and see how Audi NZD has. You see the reason why I don't trade Audi, Audi NZD? Because it ranges a lot. So I don't encourage Audi NZD. So we will go to the NZD pairs. So we will start with NZD USD. What is the NZD USD? Imagine knowing how to trade. One pair gives you uh, all that. So out NZD USD, can you see? It has been buying. Just by knowing where Audi USD is going. And then NZD card, what is NZD? NZD CHF. Can you see NZD CHF? It's buying. NZD CHF and then NZD card. Can you see? That's what I'm saying. If you are able to trade Audi USD, it's like you'll be trading all those pairs. Let's go back here. So already Euro USD, you have Euro USD CHF. GBP USD, you have GBP CHF and USD card. Audi USD, you have Audi card, all of that. The negative coloration of Audi. Uh, Audi USD is out is GBP Audi, GBP Audi, GBP Audi. So, if you're trading GBP Audi, buy Audi USD should sell. But because Audi USD is buying, can you see Audi is Audi USD is buying? GBP Audi should be negative coloration. It should be selling. So if I click GBP Audi. I'm interested to check for sales. And let's see what GBP Audi has been doing. It has been selling. Can you see guys, Audi, GBP Audi has been selling. And that's how you differentiate uh, the two. So if I'm trading, if I'm here, I master the three major pairs and I get the entry. At the end of the day, I'll be trading one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Uh, we can minus Audi and ZD. It's, it ranges a lot. So you will have 12 pairs to trade just by mastering Hero USD, GBP USD and Audi USD. I hope that recap has really helped you guys. I hope it has really helped you. So you have to understand that by the time you are analyzing don't analyze from, oh, I'm just analyzing. No, you're analyzing for other pairs to fall on that. Disclaimer, I, I forgot to say, I do not do investment for people. I don't do Bitcoin. I don't do all those things that people are impersonating. There are so many estamophrases. Even I'm wondering how many we are. So many fake accounts out there scamming people. My official number is this. You can WhatsApp me if you want a course that is recorded. It's available. It's 12 modules. 10 profitable strategies that I charge $1,000. The reason why I charge $1,000 is because each strategy is $100. So because they are 10, it's $1,000. So don't fall for, for, for scams. If you want to come for physical class, the next class is September. I have physical classes every month. 
So even if you're an international student and one day you would want to come to my class, you can plan ahead and maybe take like October, November, December, you come visit Kenya as you come to learn Forex. That's a, that's a deal, by the way, guys. Where you travel and learn, trade and earn. Hey, travel, learn, trade and earn. That is a good one. So don't, don't fall for scammers. If you're interested to get the course, it's available, it's recorded, WhatsApp me directly, and I will, I will give you the go ahead on how to get the course. Anyway, guys, uh, this video was to analyze Euro USD. Let's not forget why we are here. The reason why I keep telling you guys is that I will do these coloration pairs because we have even CHS and all those pairs in the cards. I will do a very detailed coloration pairs. In this video, allow me to do the analysis. So if I come here and do the analysis, for me, I find doing analysis on lower time frame, like four hour daily, it will, it will block your clarity. Why? Because the minute you say, I want to trade on four hour, for me, what I'm seeing Euro USD is on an uptrend. So I will be saying, I am waiting for the market to retrace for the uptrend to continue. So I'll be waiting for the market to tap this area and wait for the uptrend to continue. That is one way of trading where trading on a lower time frame because you're trading what you can see. When you're trading on lower time frame, it is magnified that the buyers have it. There's a lot of magnifying that buyers have this market. But what, wait, you go to the monthly time frame where you are doing top-down analysis. That's when you'll be shocked. So let's go to the monthly time frame. When I go to the monthly time frame, the buyers that I'm seeing, the market is on a ranging channel. So be careful when you're buying because it's on the resistance area. This market can get rejected very easily. So as the, as the, you can find for hours is a buy, a strong buy, and you really, you are tempted to buy, but this market is on a channel. And what we have kept saying about channels, the market can break either side. It can break on the downside or it can break on the upper side. At least with that clue, with that mind, you will not be careless just placing trades for the sake of it. You will be cautious. You will analyze your markets very well and you will be waiting for multiple confirmations. So the market can either go up if it breaks here or it can immediately react because that's what we have been seeing. Can you see every time the buyers come to this area, they react with a red candle. Anytime the buyers come to this area, they react. Buyers come in, they react. What is the difference here? Why, what do you think, why do you think the market will come break and then you put your buy order? That's not how we treat. This market is on a ranging channel and it means that it is not a wonder if it buy or sell. That's what it means. So Euro USD, nobody can say for, for the fact that this market will sell, this market will buy. Where you are seeing a, an uptrend, you can see from the monthly time frame, the market has been selling for so long. You can see. So we have our high here and the market has been selling. The market has been selling for quite a while. So... We won't be wrong to say this market is just doing a retracement for it to go down. It won't be wrong to say like that because since 2008, the market has been selling. And then we came to 2021, the market sold. And that's where we saw a very uh, straight or steep selling. And then the market now has entered this ranging. Now, the question is, what do you think of this ranging? Is this ranging a, 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 a retracement or a reversal? That this market wants to retrace and then go back? Is it retracing and then go back and continue with the journey? Or it is a reversal? The market now has exhausted to sell. You can imagine market selling from 208. And that's what I'm saying. When you find a ranging market, it's hard to tell what the market wants to do. So you have to apply other strategies. 
So from the monthly time frame, that is what we have. If I go to the weekly time frame, the same thing is happening. We can see that the market has, has broken a resistance. And you see that one candle resistance. And that's why the market is pushing up. But it's not a wonder. The market has this area. Can you see? Can you see this area? So we might have a double top. And I don't know if this double top is OPT. It's not OPT. It is still on the weekly. So we can have the reaction. The same thing that made this market to react, it can make Euro USD react. So from the weekly time frame, we have nothing much. When we go to the daily time frame, now here is where everything now starts to, to, to make sense because I have a support that is not on the weekly. You can see this support. This support is not on the weekly. Let's go to that support. Do I have that support on the weekly? No. Anytime I see a support that is not on the weekly, what my mind tells me is OPT and I can have a double bottom there. You can imagine if this is, is a, an area of our double bottom. If this is an area of our double bottom, now when the market is coming to sell, it will tap this double bottom and either now come up, we will be able to predict. So what I'm, what I'm trying to tell you guys is that it is easier to trade when you have a pattern. It's very easy. Trading when you have a pattern because Euro USD might drop. Yes, it might drop up to this area. And once it drops to this area, we'll be looking for a buy. So where the market is, to buy right now, you're already late. This market has been buying. You're already late. So this is a zone where we can find we have a double bottom. And this double bottom, what have I said? It's not on the weekly. So it can be OPT. That's one way of trading EURUSD. And that's why many people want to open EURUSD and they start trading. So they open it and they start trading. It has 169 pips. If this market goes to 0 1.0951, if this market goes to 1.051, it has, it has how many pips to go? It has 163 pips to go if it goes back to that double bottom. So if we go to four hour, we have so many areas to give us patterns. So we have this one, we have this one, and these two areas, they are not on daily. So this is where you will be observing, guys. I want you to go on your chart and mark out these areas. These two areas can save you a lot. So if the market breaks out, you already know you don't have a pattern. So it's better to have at least one thing that you are watching than none. So they are, you can see they are OPT. So on four hour, we are hoping that the market will come, make a double bottom, and then maybe break our half, our neckline continue. Come, maybe it can even go to half, don't break, then break comes and activate this. So we will be looking forward to what will happen. So that's what I want you to do, guys. Euro USD, I want you to go and mark. So this one is from the daily. You can change the color to be blue so that you can know this is a zone of daily. These ones are for four hours. So I want you to observe what will happen if the market comes there. That is for four pips. Start observing. So if this market comes and break directly like that, it tells you that I do not have a double bottom there. I will continue looking. If it comes and activate that, you will now apply the double bottom strategy where you wait for entry of CRB and all that stuff. What if the market continues to sell and activate this? If the market activate this, we no longer look this double bottom on four hour we will look it at the daily. So this is a good lesson for you even to observe because majority of you, you won't just to enter trades without observing. For you to get a profitable entry, you will have waited and waited for that uh, entry to mature. So that's what me, I can tell you that for EURUSD, for me, I'm seeing three possibility 
two possibility on four hour and one possibility on the daily. So number one, the market can come and go up. Number two, the market can go down, activate the second one and go up. Number three, the market can go down, activate the daily. And now from the daily, we start looking for the market to go down. So those are the two areas. And you can see there is also this one. And this one is also for the daily. It's not a wonder this market coming there. And because we'll be analyzing this market every single day, when it does something, I'll be coming here and do an update. So if you hear Euro USD update, it is for you to understand that we are still continuing. So if I go to the daily, I can see that double bottom. If you go to uh weekly, the, the problem with the double bottom, the overall double bottom, this double bottom is still on the weekly. So if it's still on the weekly, we can put uh yellow color. Yellow means it is still on the weekly. So this support, can you see this support? This support is still on the daily. Can you see it? It's still on the daily and it's still on the weekly. So, but if you go to the monthly, it's not there. So if at all the market will ever tap that area, let's say the market, hey, Wanda shall never end. Let me tell you, this is the way you can be planning and the market reaches here. Now we are no longer trading from the four hour. We are no longer trading from the daily. We can only trade from the weekly if that happens. Another thing, guys, I need to show you is that we have news on Euro USD. We have news on Euro USD. I don't know if this one will show the share. We have news on Euro USD. Let me see. Yeah, we are sharing. So on uh, today is Wednesday. We have USD news. So maybe if USD news, the FOMSMC meeting minutes eh? if this news um if this news favor usd we might have those touches that i'm telling you the market might touch and if it touches thursday we have news major news on euro and they are from 10 15 10 30 and 11 we have new news on euro so we have to be very careful so that when the news comes, you know, volatility comes and then we get entry and then we have news on the USD. So by Friday, it will be easy to trade Euro USD because we have we will have known what the market wants. And that's what I'm saying. It's better to wait. It is better to wait, guys. So today, what I want you to check, 9 p.m., that is Kenyan time. So if you I don't know if you're in which country, just check Kenyan time, uh, how it is so kenyan time 9 p.m we have news you see i'm giving you updates on the news but i will still do a video on the news 9 p.m we have we have news on usd okay we have news on usd so imagine those news on it's nine it's 9 p.m if those news, they are volatile or they support USD, I'm telling you, it will tap this zone. It can tap this. By tomorrow, we will have the market now tapping this area. And what we have seen is that the market to tap that area, it needs 164 pips. With the news that we have, the news release we have, 164 pips, it's something small because you have news on USD, Euro, and USD again. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you have really enjoyed the analysis on Euro USD. You can comment down below the pair you want me to analyze. Comment down below the pair you want me to analyze, and I will, I will analyze it for you guys. If still you're interested to buy my course, make sure you will tap me. If you want to join my classes, the, ne the next class starts in September. All the best, guys. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.